Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. Um, so we are now on chapter two. A troll is as a troll does. Um, chapter two is kind of interesting. Chapter two also has some funny glitches that are there. Um, and there's a lot of back and forth, so I'm going to try to play this as uh, streamlined as I can. Just for time. Welcome, most beautiful of princesses! <gasps> hmm? <gasps> who... Who are you, sir? I, uh, I am King Otar Fenris III, ruler of the Volcanics Underground, and you are the Princess Rosella, yes? I am, Your Majesty. How do you know me? Where am I? I saw a beautiful castle before. Where could I find it, please? Castle? Oh, that. It's a dull place. You wouldn't like it. Oh my, I wasn't expecting this. Your Majesty, what weren't you expecting? What's going on? I wasn't expecting you to be so lovely, my lady. You will be the most radiant bride in all the world. Bride? See here, King Otar, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored and all, but I can't marry you. I, I don't even know you. Now, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... A troll, dear lady. A troll? Oh! Please don't be sad, princess. You make a lovely troll. A simply stunning troll. I'm a troll? How can I be a troll? I'm not a troll, am I? Come along, princess. Let me escort you to your chamber. Perhaps you'll feel better if you... rest. A troll? Troll, huh? A troll? I can't believe I'm a troll! And not just any troll. Oh no, I'm engaged to the Troll King. How lucky can a girl get? Okay, so... I really like the way they animated her character as a troll. Um, okay, so we're going to kind of be uh, all over the place, so I'm going to try to kind of get through this as uh, quickly as possible. But there's a lot of walking. Who are you, Missy? You're no real troll. I can see right through you. What do you want with King Otar, you human minx? I, I don't want anything. I was just looking into this pool, and, and then I saw this... Baloney, little girl. You're trying to steal the throne of the underground. Usurper, usurper! <laughs> Why, you're no usurper, you poor little thing. Don't cry. I didn't mean to be cross. It's just that King Otar has been so strange lately, and that a horrible woman has been snooping around. I'm not crying. Of course you're not, dear. Now you listen to me. I can help you turn back into a human. You can? Are you an enchantress? Well, not exactly. I'm Matilda, and I used to be King Otar's nursemaid when he was just a wee troll. Anyway, I can give you a list of ingredients for a magic potion that will turn you back into a human just like that. But you have to do something for me. Anything! 
Up above this kingdom is a dark land called Ooga Booga. Our kingdoms were never crazy about each other, but we had a civil relationship. Now, because of her, the Ooga Boogaites attack any troll that shows a face above ground. Missy, once you're human, you will go above and investigate. I have a gut feeling that our kingdom is in terrible trouble. Of course I will, Matilda. Wonderful! Now listen, girl, bring me some baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, water of emeralds, a silver spoon, and a gold bowl. Got it? Got it! Okay. So we're going to try to get these different objects. Stupid old toy rat! This is not what I wanted! I wanted a battle axe! Bike! Time for lunch! Don't forget your new toy! Dumb, stupid rat! Okay, so we're going to take the toy rat and we're going to go up here. Mr. Troll, may I talk to you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? So they're sound asleep, but we have to come over here and have that exchange to trigger this. Well, you can do it different ways, but this is one way. Uh. Revolting beast! Jeez, oh, oh God. You nearly got yourself fried. Oh, I'm not scared of that nasty winch. I could break her in half like a carrot. Well, that's good, because she's right behind you. That was not the funny blue car. Pardon me, sirs, but who was that tall, imposing woman? Uh, her name is Malicia, and uh, to tell you the truth, lady, uh, no one really knows who she is. I know who she is. She's a fiend, that's who. Shut your mouth, Hogarth. Oh you don't know nothing. Some trolls say Militia is an evil fairy cast out of Etheria up there in the clouds. All I know is, she never used to hang around here, and now she does all the time. We'd like to tell you more, pretty lady, but we better not. Okay. So they can't really say anything else. And now, we're gonna go this way. Oh, before I do, I gotta get this. On the wall, there's a shield. And if we look at the shield, we can take the spike off the shield. Then, just a touch of frog lips, a dash of mouse noses, a sprinkling of spider legs. <laughs> oh. You are so wonderful. You are the most beautiful stew in the world. All you need is... A juicy bat, or a tender rat! Mm. Oh, I'm 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean any... Out, out, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! Don't worry, my little stew. You're safe from that dreadful girl. Her peasant lips will never touch you. Okay. So just because we were thrown out doesn't mean we can't go back. Um, in fact, he gave us the clue. Uh, a juicy rat. And we happen to have this wind-up rat toy. Excuse me, Mr. Cook? Out, out, out of my kitchen, you dr- oh. And that's what happens when uh, you misclick. <laughs> so let's do it right. So before he can see us, we're going to use the rat on him. What's going on? Who's there? A juicy, tender rat. Just what I need for my stew. Come here, you little tidbit. Go. Okay, so while the chef is in there, we have a moment. Uh, one of the objects we needed was a gold bowl, and there are two bowls here. There's this one, and there's this one. This one is a brass bowl, and this is the gold bowl. We have to make sure we get the correct one, or it won't work. And if you click the wrong one and think you have the right one, if you look at it, it'll tell you. So if I can turn this right. Yeah, 16 karat gold. And then this box here will give us the baked beetles we need for the potion. Next, we're going to go back over here and meet some different characters. You know, Winnie, I've had so much trouble sleeping lately. Blotar snores like a dragon with heartburn. Well, let me tell you, Eglatine, I have the same problem with Hogarth. I just use wet sulfur. I put a lump of wet sulfur in the fireplace at night and it puts me right out. Why I sleep so soundly, Hogarth sometimes has to wake me with a flower under the nose. <laughs> a flower? Eee! You must have been sleeping like a log if you needed a nasty, smelly flower to wake you up. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Excuse me, good ladies, but but would you happen to know anything about Malisha? Oh, look, Winnie! It's the king's new bride to be! Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh my dear! You're the luckiest troll in the world! Oh, it's going to be the most beautiful wedding! And won't you be the most beautiful bride? Oh, I always cry at weddings. Oh, 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 So we had to have that conversation to make something else we're going to do here possible. Because she mentioned the wet sulfur, and the wet sulfur is a key. Now we have these two wonderful characters. This guy's funny. Pardon me, sir, but I was wondering... Well, wonder no longer, sweet potato. 
I am the troll of your dreams. Uh, now see here, I'm I'm uh, I'm engaged to the king. That's right, the king. Oh well, I respect King Ota. You you can bet on that. Uh, I'm sorry, my little rutabaga, but our love is not to be. You let me know if he dumps you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you, sir. I am Rosella of Daventry. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind being interrupted by someone as charming as yourself. What can I do for you? Why, you're the most polite troll I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Don't apologize, my dear. I quite understand. I can't tolerate the company of most other trolls myself. Oppy Goldsworth, Master Jeweler, at your service. You don't like other trolls? You must be so lonely, Oppy. Oh, I am, Rosella. To tell you the truth, I'd do anything to leave this place. I'd love to go out and make my way in the world. Maybe I'd even become the court jeweler of Etheria. Why don't you? I don't have the money. All I have to my name is this old chipped hammer and chisel. Pardon me, my dear, but I really must finish this project. Okay. So we're gonna go down this tunnel. Ew! Ew! It smells like rotten eggs in here. We needed the bowl with li the gold bowl and the liquid emerald, which is what this is. Bowl with green water, and we're gonna take the lantern on the wall. We need to get across this chasm. Wow! What an updraft! So there's a funny glitch that can happen here. And I'm not going to do all of them, but there's a few of them that I think are kind of amusing. Um, we're going to click on that. Hmm, maybe it's sulfur. We're going to get the wet sulfur off the wall. And I'm gonna save. Uh, make a new bookmark, keep playing. And uh, see if it'll do it. Yeah, you can just walk across the chasm if you do it right. Um, <laughs> you don't have to do the whole jumping over the bit. Um, okay, so that's everything we need from down here. What's that? That little goyle is a mold for casting thing. I poured hot silver in there, see? And when it cools, I have a spoon. And if you remember, a silver spoon is one of the objects we needed. So to get the silver spoon, we're going to put some wet sulfur on the fire. Because we can't very well take it while he's right there. What's that, Mama? Time for bed? Okay. Nighty night. Okay, and we can't pick this up. It's going to be too hot. So we grab the tongs off the wall them on the box and then we put it in the water. Yes. And just because we're nice we're gonna put them back. And 
the other thing we need to do is we need to use the bellows and get the fire going. Because we need to get some of the fire in this lantern. to the, air, the one area we haven't been to yet. Um, and what we need to do is we need to go up here. Come no further! Oh, well, he's not going to let us across. But I see this cart up here that looks kind of weird. Let's go take a look at it. And it's missing a wheel. But wait, I have that shield. And to hold it on, I have the spike I'll that was in the middle sure of it. I'll just make sure that shield doesn't go anywhere. There. And if I ride the cart... he won't be a problem. Now we have this beautiful crystal cave. We need to go over here. We're going to make a new friend. <sighs> and if you remember, one of the items we needed was the scale of a crystal dragon. Hear me, little troll. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you. You are most kind. Once that would have made me smile. Now I know I will never be happy again. What has made you so sad? I have lost my will to live. I have lost my spark. But wait, she lost her spark. I just happen to have some flame. Um, this doesn't happen to be the kind of spark you meant, does it? A spark! Bless you, little troll! Here, let me have it! I am indebted to you. Here, take this diamond. With it, you can live like a princess. Thank you. It's, it's beautiful, but what I'd really like is... one of your scales? Yes, yes, little one, whatever you want. But I can wait no longer to fly. I will give you a scale when I return. There's a lot of really good wholesome moments in this game. You know, you help the ghost uh, in the desert, you help the crystal dragon. It 
it's important to note too that the events of last episode chapter one and the events of this episode chapter two are happening simultaneously um as far as timeline wise um while you're trying to get out of the desert she's trying to get out of the troll kingdom This is another funny glitch. Let's see if it does it. If I just go ahead and click on the way out here. Yeah, she just walks across the walls, across the lava, right across the rocks. Oh, and, and then through the rocks. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we have this wonderful jewel. And since it's not anything we need... Why don't we give it to somebody that could use it? And he's still asleep. Let's give it to Oppie. Oppie, I have something I'd like to give you. Oh, oh my my, it's perfect. It's beautiful. How can I ever thank you? I'm forever in your debt. Oh, I'm going to throw out this horrible hammer and chisel and get the best set money can buy. If you don't want it, may I have it, Oppie? Of course, of course. Enjoy them, my dear. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Rosella. He's such a nice guy. Okay, and that completes everything we have to do down here with these guys. Now, let's go see if our dragon friend has returned. seems that she has. Well, if we use the hammer and chisel on her tail while she sleeps, We get a single scale. And then we don't have to wake her from her nap. Alright, so now we have all of the items we need to make the potion to return to normal Rosella. So let's... Matilda, I think I have all the ingredients for the spell. Good, good. I knew you were special, girl. Give me the gold bowl first. Good. Now give me the rest of the ingredients. Excellent! Just fine, just dandy. Yes! Yes! Hee 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 hee! 
All right then, girlie, take a drink. Okay. Did it work? Well, not exactly, dear. Now, what did I do wrong? Aha! Uh -huh. I remember. We need a troll hair. Ow! There we go! I like how she just dumped it into the hole that was your head. <laughs> The silver spoon melted, and I thought Mother's tea was strong. I suppose I should keep it as a memento. My dear Princess Rosella, I'm stunned! Your beauty is only surpassed by your intelligence, in your courage, and your joie de vivre! You! I've had just about enough of you distracting the king, you little snip! Now look here, lady! No! Look here! Malicia! No! There. You just be patient, girl. I'll be in to take care of you before you know it. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. So, now we're back in the room. <laughs> uh, if you notice, the picture over here has uh, what looks like smoke coming out of the eyes. And if we stack up these chairs... No. It's not tall enough yet. We can go and investigate. And when we remove the picture... Oh, look! There's a hole in the wall. My... my Lady Militia, I wasn't expecting you! And who were you expecting, you pathetic wretch? Your precious princess? Listen to me, you pudding-brained puppet. If you and your obsession with that pale-skinned, meddlesome princess manage to disrupt my plans, I'll have you filleted. Have you learned to work the volcano mechanism yet? Well, yes, I, I think so, but... Lady Militia, is it really necessary? Will the realm of Eldritch be hard, my lady? The Bountiful Woods are right below Etheria, and the land of Ooga Booga below that. Oh, a village here, a township there, who's going to miss them? Even if all of Eldritch is covered in slag, at least the blight of Etheria will be gone. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, she's a pretty terrible person. I just don't know what's right. What's real. If only I could remember. Oh no! She can't! She just can't! Take a look at what's going on. <laughs> what is this little thing? Looks like we got a dragon toad. Alright, well we can't really go 
too far. Don't you hurt him. Don't you dare hurt him. Stay out of it, old woman, or you'll regret the day you were born. There's something wrong with him. What have you done to him, witch? You really don't want to know, Ancient One. Your old nerves couldn't take it. Suffice it to say that it's a lot nicer than what I plan to do to you. You don't scare me, you cold-blooded beanstalk, you flinty-eyed lizard! Poor Matilda. She's so nice. Matilda, I know you're concerned for the king, but maybe you shouldn't bait Malicia like you did. She's fully capable of hurting you. Don't I know it, child? But I can't help myself. I'd do anything to find out what she's done to my Otar. Anything. Matilda, maybe if we investigate, we can... Can't you see it's hopeless, child? That creature is far too powerful. Leave me be, child. I'm sick at heart. Leave me be, child. I'm sick at heart. So, I don't remember exactly how you find out you're supposed to do this. I just remember that you're supposed to give her the dragon toad. Matilda, what is this funny little thing? I think you're supposed to just try things. Otar's dragon toad! This was King Otar's when he was just a wee lad. It's a magical guardian. When little Otar would take it with him to play, it would watch over him and get him out of trouble. If he really got into a scrape, it would run home and tell me where he was. It doesn't look very lively now, Matilda. Yes, it's been dormant for years. Let me see now. It's working! Dragon Toad, tell me now! Where is King Otar, and what's he doing? Ugh, His Majesty the King is imprisoned, far away, in the land of the Booga Booga. That means the king who's been in cahoots with Malicia is an imposter. I knew it! Matilda, I overheard the king, or, or whoever he is, and Malicia talking. It sounded like she intends to cause a volcano to erupt. Canix Underground is nothing but one big volcano. We trolls have been the keepers of the volcano for a hundred generations. If Malicia ignites it, the entire realm of Eldridge will blow up. Rosella, we must find the real King Otar. He's the only one with the knowledge to shut down the volcano. Here, take this magic rope. Use this rope with the elevator to Ooga Booga. Find the real king of the trolls. Go now, it may already be too late. Where is that little snip of a princess? When I find her, I'll... <coughs> Flea-bitten, mange-ridden, nasty, smelly vermin! Someday I'll come up with a way to cause every bat, rat, and snake in the world to explode at once! All right, let's try to get out of here, see what we can do. Try to escape, will she? Well, just let her try. Now, if we do nothing here, or we try to walk over to her, she will kill us. However, we still have our little rat. Ah! 
Okay. And now we can get out of here. We have our magic rope. We can use the magic rope on the pulley. And hoist ourselves out of here. And this is going to end uh, chapter 3. Or, excuse me, this is going to end chapter 2 and start chapter 3. Um, so, yeah, chapter 3 will be next episode. Um, we're going to go back to playing uh, Valenice at Daventry. And uh, see if we can save the world from blowing up. So, it's been fun, guys, and I'll see you next episode.